Vlogmas day 15. We're at day 15. Get pumped, everybody. It is wedding day. I'm on my way to the wedding right now. And I am so excited that this couple has allowed me to film a little bit behind the scenes because otherwise I wouldn't really have a video for today. So, hey -o. Also, this is not well balanced. The camera's shaking. Whatever. So basically, I'm just on my way to the wedding. It is like an hour and 20 minutes away from me, so I've been driving for a little bit already and hope to get there by 1.30 uh, to get started. So that's kind of all I have for you right now. I need to go call the venue manager and make sure everything is good to go. Yeah, so cue the time lapse of me driving because it helps to tell the story. excited. I don't know if I can film me going in because I'm literally a bag lady when it comes to wedding days. I've got my emergency kit, I've got my purse, and I also carry around another bag that has all of our walkie-talkies in it. I think that's the thing I'm the most stressed about today is making sure that like I still get enough footage for you guys but still being a good coordinator. Yeah, that's that feels stressful. That's kind of causing me anxiety. So hopefully I'll still be able to pull out the camera at good moments, at opportune moments, and not at awkward ones, because I'm known for being awkward. All right, so I'm gonna grab my stuff, head on inside, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check in with the venue rep to make sure, because um, we haven't actually met each other yet, kind of introduce myself, get my purse situated, and check back in with you guys in a little bit. Checked in with the venue manager, checked in with the photographer, which both of them are amazing. In fact, her second shooter is someone whom I worked with at my very first wedding, so it's so cool to see her again. And now I'm at the bride's car, grabbing all of the setup stuff um, to make sure that we get that done nice and early because I don't like that last minute rush around. I also don't like this. It, nope. Because <laughs> I don't like the last minute rush around. The ceremony doesn't start for like another hour and 40 minutes, so I want to get this done so I can check with all the other vendors before we move forward. Let's see, so what do we have here? And this bride is literally the most organized. She took pictures of how she wants the setup of everything to be. I mean, come on. Brides, if you're watching this, take pictures. Oh, she's the best. And then little post-its for where things are supposed to go. Oh, knocking stuff over. Oh my goodness, she even went as far oh, to say what everything is. Y'all, I'm in heaven right now. But that means I need to put the camera away so I can carry all this stuff. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little more than I anticipated. That's okay, we'll make it work. It's just, can't vlog and do this at the same time. Guest book and gift table are set. I have a couple things that are going to the ceremony, which already looks so beautiful. Okay, I can already see they're doing a tree planting ceremony, as like a part of their ceremony, and it's dead set in the middle. So I think we want that to move. Otherwise, visually, that's gonna look really weird. So we don't want it right there in the center. <laughs> it needs to be off to the side. But one thing I love about this couple is they totally embrace the fact that the venue was gonna be decorated for Christmas and just decided, forget it. We're just gonna go for a more Christmassy look. Um, so we have poinsettias here. Um, and she went really minimal on the decor, which makes everyone's lives just a wee bit easier. You know me, I'm a huge fan of decor at weddings. I wonder if they're over here. I thought they were doing the first look over there. Okay, I'm gonna go place the sign. Yeah, we're perfectly on time. This is amazing. Okay, she wanted this on a chair, but my only issue with that is the chair is so far away that I don't know if it's gonna be very visible. Yeah, I guess it should be. We can leave it there. And my assistant should be getting here any moment now. That's when we get to put in the walkie-talkies, which looks wicked cool. Oh, I should take the tin foil off the roses. That looks tacky. Hide the roses just a little bit so they don't burn in the sun. 
And now I need to go find someone strong and able-bodied to move that. So I'm gonna go check in with the venue manager to see if we can get someone to scoot that on over. Cause I know from experience that those are wicked heavy. Okay, I could have sworn they were gonna do first look there. Maybe they're done. Okay, reception space is looking pretty good. We need to place the centerpieces. And I don't know if we're doing the donuts or if the venue is, so I need to check in with them on that. We normally try not to handle food, just in general. Um, okay, cool, I'm gonna get started on this. My assistant's running a little late. Poor thing got stuck in traffic. So I'm flying solo for a bit, but that's okay. Oh, wait, oh, you can see them. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh. Coming back from their first look. Because they're coming back from their first look right now, I think I'm gonna go round up the bridal party to get ready for bridal party photos. We are running like 10-ish minutes behind, but that is not a big deal in wedding world. 10 minutes behind is easy peasy to make up. But I'm gonna go get the bridal party and send them out front for their photos. Oh, my hair. Let's start taking bets on how long it is till my hair goes up. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. My bridal party, if we could steal ya. Yes, leave the charge, ladies. Get in there. All right, so while they are doing, Ooh, can you even see them? Can you see them? So while they're doing bridal party photos, my assistant just got here, bless her heart. She was stuck in so much traffic. But at least I'll have some help getting the ceremony, or the reception table set up, which makes me feel a lot better. Plus, she's a lot of fun to work with, so I'm really excited. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Guess who's here? Hi! It's Claire! She's actually one of the lead planners with our company. She has her own planning company and she also assists. She's a woman of many hats. <laughs> Look at all your hats, Claire. They're all right there. They're all right there. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on our walkies because it helps to communicate, especially with a venue like this. It's a little bit more sprawling. Um, and we just like to look really cool with our earpieces. Yes. We're like, what are we are the FBI. Secret service is what I like. <laughs> that makes more sense. Better. But still, same thing. We're professionals, hire Very us for your wedding. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Man, sometimes finding angles you do to it. get stuff done at is like the most challenging. You know, it was a bad idea. What? Listening to Rihanna right before I got here. Because oh, it's in your head now? Yeah. It's in your head for sure. Like, brah, brah, brah. <laughs> Pay me what you owe me. It's good hype music though. Oh it my is. word, this is like really. I literally spilled <laughs> coffee all over my dress this morning. Like literally, <gasps> I like got in my first. I had work this morning uh -huh. and I like got to my car and I was like, I'm wet. It's yeah. coffee. I, I have no it. idea what happened, honestly. Boom. We did it. Set. <laughs> Let's do this. Now we're gonna go do the centerpieces and then check out with photography because we were running a little bit behind. So hopefully we've made that time up. Probably. And that's, that's all I have left to say. Okay, bye. We are about 12 minutes from ceremony start time. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna count and see how many guests we have here. 
um, mm -hmm. to see if we're gonna be on time or not, or if we need to wait a little bit longer for guests. And of course, you have to remember to take away the bridal party and family. Yes, yes. I forgot that before. I've been like, <laughs> oh no, we don't have enough people. And then I just forgot that I wasn't counting the bridal party. Seeing a lot of empty chairs. Mm -hmm. All right, you count that side, I'll count this side. It's happening. It's happening. <gasps> The next mom and son walk to the song, and then it's a new song for the next group. So wait till this next couple goes down to the very end, and the song switches, and then we cue bridal party. I'll be down there in a sec. Classic wedding planner. <laughs> I don't want to stand up too high because I don't want to be in the photographer's shot. Let me see if I can creep. Yeah, only, we were only like four or five minutes late. That's not bad. That, that's on time. I know you can't see anything, but I'm filming it anyways. And now I want to get some footage, but I can't go too far forward because I don't want to get the photographer shot. Today is Friday, <laughs> Look at Claire creeping. Dear Heavenly Father, love has been your richest and greatest gift to the world, marriage being one of the most beautiful types of love. Today we celebrate that love. May your blessing be on this wedding service. Protect, guide, and bless Amanda and Craig in their marriage. So since we started relatively on time, I'm going to go tell the venue that we kind of started on time, right? Which is great. Which is great. It's a win. So that means food service should still happen in a timely manner. So while the ceremony's going on, I'm talking so loud. So while the ceremony's going on, <laughs> we're gonna go talk to the venue people. Over and out. Normally right about now I would be checking in with the venue, but I already saw the venue manager outside. And um, in my experience, anytime it is a person, like a family member or a friend who's never officiated a wedding, is doing a wedding, it's always shorter. So instead of going up to check on the reception space, I know it's pretty golden because setup was so easy earlier. I'm actually going to stay in the ceremony space, which is something I don't normally do, and wait for the bridal party um, on their grand exit so I can catch them. And then hide the bride and groom away from guests, get all the guests out, and then send them back in for family photos. So usually right about now, I'd be running around like a mad woman, but um, this one's easy enough that I can just kind of hang out for a minute, which is bizarre. I think I'm going to put... Oh, oh. all the guests out. Am I catching? Okay. I think you're standing on it. I got it, girl. Okay. Oh, of course. All right, so tuck off to your right because it's actually a cart path. So as much to the right as you can go. Just right here? Yeah, you guys are good right here. We'll pull you back in for family photos in just a second. All right, hey, bridal party. Can we have you guys kind of form a wall around them so they don't get stopped by guests? Form a wall. Thank you. So no one's Human shield. They are now doing family photos. I'm gonna go upstairs and check in with the venue who's also doing the catering just to make sure that we're all running on time. That ended so early, just like I thought. It ended really fast. But that's fine. It uh, made it for all the time that we lost. And then some. That was like a 10 minute ceremony. So now we're gonna go check in on food. See you guys in just a bit. All right, so it's currently 
<laughs> you know, chew not on camera. Uh, so it's currently 4.15. Ceremony ended about 25 minutes ago, which means the couple is out taking photos. Ideally, in about 30, 35 minutes, we're gonna move the guests from the cocktail hour space to the reception space. But that just depends on where the couple is because we don't want to move everyone into the reception space too early. Because anytime you have like guests in one space for a really long time, they get really antsy. Yes, they do. Yeah, <laughs> super antsy. So we never move guests over until we know the couple's back ready to go yeah back on property ready to go mm -hmm. ready for grand entrance otherwise people that's why you should always have your cocktail hour and your reception in two separate spaces people pointer two. that's a free pointer you don't even point. have to pay for that free tip <laughs> just leave a comment down below of um of how helpful that was scale one to ten scale one to ten <laughs> give us a number i say ten this event is so Streamlined. Is Jamie so good at it? Stop it. I paid her to say that. I paid her to say that. <laughs> she did it. She did it. I did. <laughs> you ready for grand entrance? Yeah. You ready for it to be all in your face? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hannah, how did you get more? and now we need to race in there because it's time for toast. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna Maybe be great. Some Maybe some tears. And we already we already checked our teeth. So we're good. I need my purse. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my jacket because I can. It's toasty. Toasty. People were complaining that it was too cold. And I was like, I am you're crazy. A little chilly. What? But everything's off for me today. Okay, I need to check with the couple because I think they're doing table visits. So I'll check with them. Let me check with the DJ first. Okay. <laughs> Now we're waiting for toast to start. Yes, we are. We're still waiting for toast to start. Last time we were here, we said we were waiting. Last time we saw you, we were gonna go start toast. But the bride and groom are doing table visits, so they wanna have the opportunity to hide everybody. That, and it's an important thing. It is an important vlogging? thing. Yes? yes! You wanna get in it? I love vlogs, hi. Hey. <laughs> Growing the fan. That's the first time everyone, any, anyone's ever called me out for something. Well, I'm sweating. <laughs> Instantaneous. Fine. So they're going to visit two more tables, um, and then we're gonna get toast started. 
basically this whole video is just me being like, and this is what we're doing next. That is true. But the little clips of footage, I'm sure, in between. I hope so. Interested. Otherwise, it's gonna be the dumbest <laughs> video ever. So it's gonna be really hard to edit. Mer. See you in a bit. Yeah. Friends. In the course of 26 years, you really get to know someone well. And as a younger brother, I've seen CJ go from being obnoxious to being slightly less obnoxious. Uh, in all seriousness, I've looked up him for guidance in my career and motivation for our competitive and dangerous hobbies. I'm fortunate to have him as a source of motivation and someone, else, someone I can always rely on. Amanda, you look absolutely beautiful tonight. I can't think of anyone else that I'd rather have join our family or who would be a better wife to CJ than you. And it all started the first day of kindergarten. I was crying like a baby because I miss my mom and dad. <laughs> and Amanda came up to me and asked if I wanted to be her friend. And the rest is history. Craig comes in. <laughs> I met Craig at Amanda's, I think it was, 23rd birthday party. Let's just say I became a protective sister. <laughs> She's lucky to have found the love of her life in you. I know that you two are going to continue building a beautiful life together, wherever it takes you. So, before I start crying, if you can please raise a glass. I love you both. I cannot be happy for you. that like no one sees where the dance floor <gasps> poppin'. is popping. We are actually, there's still some ceremony decor left down there. Just a couple of pot, flower pots. We wouldn't leave anything valuable out. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh no, it's so dark. It's so oh. dark. Here, wait, wait, I got it. Don't is, worry. is this where we die? No. Oh, I might need to put my, <laughs> got that's it. not okay. <laughs> So usually while everyone's enjoying the dance floor is when we start packaging up gifts and putting them in the cars and grabbing all of the last minute decor. So I feel like everything up until now has pretty much looked like a bridesmaid or like groomsman or even a guest experience. Yeah. And now's where we just get weird. <laughs> and it's really dark so you can't. It's really, really dark. Who are we? I don't know. <laughs> 
I really gotta light up this bath. If we die. <laughs> It'll be on video. Um, the camera makes me say weird things. Gosh, this is a really long aisle. It is the I mean, longest aisle. Ten extra points for her because she walked down this whole thing. In stilettos. I know, I saw those. And this is like not hard even ground to walk on. You know, you could get your heel caught or something. Oh, oh no, I need to put my jacket on. Okay, and my camera away. Oh yes, give yourself a big round of applause out there. I just gotta request a little cute thing. Everybody knows this one. I see you take it to the right. Oh. <laughs> yes. That was the best. They say I'm a rapper, and I say no. So this is the fun part behind the scenes where since the dance floor is still going, but the end of the evenings in about see, two hours. It's about two hours. So we slowly start tearing stuff down. But not too fast. No. You don't want to ruin the environment. Exactly. So we slowly start grabbing centerpieces from empty tables, but not from tables that have people at them. Because that feels weird. It feels like you're shutting the party down. So like Right now, we're going to all the places where people aren't really at anymore. So the car table, the welcome table, all those areas. No one's really gonna go those anymore. So if we tear those down now, that means when the evening's over, we just go. Yeah. Uh, well, not just us, but like everyone involved. So we leave with everybody instead of two hours later. Yeah. And if no one's sitting at the welcome table, then they're not gonna miss the welcome table. Yeah. That's so. true. Now it's packaged nicely. It is. There's some extra well, donuts. To find nice. Oh, there's extra donuts. There's <laughs> That's what I like to see. Okay, now I'm just gonna go watch people dance somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably gonna just gonna follow you. Yeah, you it's need just like with this. It's like this weird process of like, do a little bit of something, stand and watch for a little bit. Do a little bit of something, stand and watch for a little stand bit. Stand and watch and see if anything happens that you might need to be there for. Exactly. You're just on guard, ready for anything. So Which, this wedding has gone so well. It has. So, a well-planned wedding. This is this is the luxury of all-inclusive catering with a venue manager and a banquet manager and a day of coordinator and a DJ and on top of stuff. And this, why did we stop here? Why do we? <laughs> we love this really good lighting. <laughs> Nailing it. To the left, to the left. And also, always new music. Always different music at weddings, right? Right, always. Never the same songs. Yes, girl. Almost done. Now we're just gonna take gifts, so clothes, and decor to the car. I don't think I can film while doing this. I mean, I don't know why I got the camera out you now. It. You can put it in the box. Do you like that I started filming after you picked it up? Yeah. Look, make me look like I'm. Okay, wait, hold on. My concern is the DJ is moving up the timeline for the end of the evening, but like we haven't talked about it. So now we're like running back and forth to the car to make sure everything's in her car before she has to leave. Now I'm out of breath. She's literally like running. Okay, wait. No, I'm gonna run too. <laughs> <laughs> you did it? Yes, I'm. <laughs> we're done. I'm so excited. I'm, yeah. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> it We're is done. not even that late, but I think I've reached a point where I, I just, words are hard. Yeah, I think after eight hours of an event, we're, mm -hmm. we're usually, we can chat for a little bit, which we've been doing, but we mm -hmm. hit the point where we're like, <laughs> <laughs> words, words are, are no longer working. Have you ever said, like, had trouble speaking and said it to somebody and then they don't react and you're like, words are not hard for you, maybe? I can tell you're very gifted in w with the word thing. Eloquence. Your mouth box works. Yes. <laughs> Mine doesn't sometimes, but it's okay. It's it's a goner. It's been it's been a day. <laughs> what are we even saying? I'm not sure. <laughs> Nobody I'm not at entirely this. confident in the words that are coming out of my mouth right now. It's okay. I am crying though. It's okay to cry. Okay, thanks. She yeah. allows me to be vulnerable. It's great. Always. Everyone get you a girl like this. <laughs> Um, but the event went good. It went great. It went really well. I have no other notes. 
I've just talked to you a lot throughout yeah. the day. There were donuts. I don't know if they saw that. I don't know. That's a that's a major bonus. That's major bonus. Extra ten points. Oh, I have a donut. Yes, you do. It's right here in this baggie. <laughs> You're a saint. <gasps> All right, everybody, say bye, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said say bye, Claire. So, bye. <laughs> Perfect. That's perfect. And I'll probably catch up with you at home because um, my husband probably did not think to move Holly. So I'm going to have to do that when I get home. And I'm going to go home and sleep. You're rude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>